In 2013, Volvo launched their new Drive-E diesel and petrol powertrain family. The new powertrains, all turbocharged 2-litre with four cylinders, set a new standard in efficient performance. The bold decision we took on going for four cylinders only is really helping us in a lot of areas by reducing weight and with that being able to reduce weight further in the structure of the vehicle, having a better weight balance and being also able to offer very high performance powertrains in combination of a combustion engine with a electrification or an electric motor on the rear axle. As car buyers around the world can now enjoy a new level of efficient performance, Volvo Cars is presenting the high-performance Drive-E powertrain concept, a triple-boost, two-litre, four-cylinder petrol engine with no less than 450 horsepower. We knew that the performance levels we were foreseeing at that point of time would not be the end. This time we're going to go a significant step further and this might sound odd in the relationship of going towards zero emissions, but it isn't because it helps us getting customers really excited and accepting the four-cylinder strategy and with that automatically reduce emissions and CO2 output. When we started developing the new Drive-E engine family, our aim was to set a new standard in charged four-cylinder engines, which had best-in-class properties in terms of power, noise and vibration relative to emissions and fuel consumption. Volvo is, after all, one of the first manufacturers to adopt turbo technology since 1981. This engine features a combination of technologies not usually found in a four-cylinder petrol engine. It has two parallel turbochargers which are charged by a third unit in which the turbine is replaced with an electric motor. This triple boosting design is combined with a unique fuel system. The result is 450 horsepower and more important, immediate throttle response as the turbo lag is eliminated. The high-performance Drive-E powertrain concept also attracted the attention and involvement of several of Volvo Cars partners. In particular, Volvo's own motorsport team, Volvo Polestar Racing, and suppliers Denso and AVL. We at AVL have worked with Volvo cars for many years, including the Drive-E engine family. The high-performance Drive-E engine concept attracted us beyond the realm of pure business, as the technical challenge involved a lot of pioneer spirit. We took part from the concept stage to the final installation. It was a challenging, but yet a fun and rewarding journey. We then so have a long-standing relationship with Volvo cars delivering full engine management system to the Drive-E engine family for the high-performance Drive-E engine concept. We developed a new, unique fuel system which has specially developed injectors, pumps, and ECU. The system pressure is increased to 250 bars. We are very proud of this collaboration and the development result. When working with race engines, whether it's a four-cylinder turbo engine for the World Touring Car Championship or a V8 for the Australian V8 Supercar Championship, you always try to maximize power and throttle response while at the same time reducing size and weight. This 450 horsepower engine is truly unique, high power levels and instant response. Its compact size also allows for improved weight distribution between front and rear axle and also lowers the center of gravity. These two factors have a significant effect on the handling of the car, whether it's a street car or a race car. The high-performance Drive-E powertrain concept will be revealed at the Aachen Colloquium in Germany, a location selected for a specific purpose. First of all, Aachen Colloquium is known to be the most important engineering forum. But second of all, it started almost 30 years ago here in Germany, where a guy whose name is Per Störeson 
won the DTM with a Volvo 240 with a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. And that's why we're here announcing this new technology to the world.